Hey boys, what's poppin'? Today we have a full FPS guide on ready or not. I will show you how to increase your FPS, minimize lag, and increase smoothness of the game. Keep in mind this game is still pretty new, so you're going to need an alright PC to begin with. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, so what we want to do is update our drivers and windows. Talking about drivers, it is mainly the GPU drivers. Did I forget to mention that all of these tweaks, or whatever you want to call them, work both on Windows 10 and Windows 11? That's right. If any of you are interested in Mac tutorials, I happen to have a MacBook, so just comment down below and we'll make those as well. Let's get onto the desktop and update our windows and our drivers because that is very important, kids. First things first, we're gonna update our windows. The way we update our windows is simply by clicking on the start button, going to settings, clicking on update and security. The first window that will pop up is Windows Update. It's right here on the left bar. So just make sure to click it in case it doesn't and click on check for updates. And there we go. We have one update to download. It already downloaded. That was pretty fast. And now it's going to install and it did and it's simple as that. For the bigger updates, you might need to restart your PC. So do not worry. Do not get scared if your PC hasn't been updated for a while, especially you're going to have to restart your PC. After that, just make sure to restart your PC and the updates will apply. After that, what we want to do is update our GPU drivers. The way you update your GPU drivers is, for example, if you have NVIDIA, make sure to download NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you have AMD, make sure to download AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. That's it. So yeah, make sure to download that. So once you've downloaded NVIDIA GeForce Experience, I'll make sure to leave down the link in the comment section below for both of the graphics card. It should look something like this. It's going to be in your bar. Do not worry. This is a very great software if you have a GeForce card. I have a GeForce card, so I cannot show you the AMD way right now. But in the future, I'll be able to do it. So do not worry about that. It is pretty simple. It's pretty much straightforward. It's the same as this kind of, just a different interface. Make sure you open GeForce experience don't get too off the topic and click on drivers and we already have a driver that's ready to download i did not really update my gpu drivers shame on me but in case you don't see anything here make sure to click on check for updates if there is an available update it's going to appear down here under available Make sure to click on download and it's going to start downloading. So we're going to wait for it to download and then you get a first hand experience on how to install this beauty. Once the download is finished, what you want to do is click on custom installation. Say yes, uh, it's going to say preparing to install and we'll make sure to select all the options that we can. Perform a clean installation. This bar is for people that usually do not update their drivers very often. I'd suggest doing this every once in a while. What it means basically is that restores all the settings settings on your card whether that be amd or uh, nvidia to like default so everything is going to be default even the options you set in uh, the control panel for both of the cards i do not need to do this right now but if you do not update drivers regularly i'd suggest you do it so if you want to do it just yeah click here and click on install while the gpu drivers are installing your screen is going to go black for a second or two maybe twice even do not worry that's normal and also softwares that use your gpu might crash as well but as i said that is completely normal so do not worry about that this is just like a disclaimer or something so as you guys can see here it is finished it is going to say installation has finished you're going to go ahead and close this and now what we are going to do check for updates again just to be sure and it says you have the latest geforce game ready drivers and that's pretty much it now that we've done that what we want to do is go to our nvidia control panel or amd control panel both are the same thing pretty much and we're going to click on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings after that you're gonna click on take me there simpler like that or you can click on manage 3d settings it is your choice and make sure to copy these settings right here now, under the power management mode, what you want to do is click on optimal power here and put it to prefer maximum performance. After doing that, you want to scroll down to texture filtering quality. You want to click right there and put it on high performance as well. On threaded optimization, instead of auto, you want to turn it on. You want to click on apply and that's pretty much it. Don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. There's another very important tip that will help you speed up the game and Windows itself. It is pretty good. What you want to do is click on File Explorer, right click on this PC or whatever you named your PC and click on Properties. After that, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. This little window will pop up. 
you see the performance tab all the way up. You want to click on settings right there and you get performance options. I'd like you to copy these settings. These settings are the ones that will save a nice appearance to your windows and also make it a lot faster. However, if you want, you can just click on adjust for best performance that will disable all of these checkboxes, but your windows will look a tad bit uglier. If that doesn't matter to you, go ahead and do it. It will help you out a lot. I promise you, you'll see the changes instantly. And that should be pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your PC. Now that we've optimized our windows for ready or not, it is time to get into the game and tweak our settings. It is going to be the last and a very important step in this guide. So let's get right into the game. So just before you start, you want to click on play on Steam and you'll get this option whether to play it on DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. On the newer PCs, DirectX 12 is supposed to give uh, better performance, but it's still in beta. So I'd suggest going for DirectX 11 since it's the more stable version. And finally, here we are in the game. As you guys can see, it is early access, June 29, 2022. So it is definitely the latest, latest uh, FPS guide in this game. So we'll go to options and here we'll have uh, the game options. We're gonna go ahead and show FPS. So we could compare the the previous fps results with the ones we will get with uh with this guide so after that we'll go with graphics do not touch the preset yet we have screen mode here make sure it's full screen it is the most optimized uh screen mode for any game pretty much so any game full screen is the smoothest that it can be now the resolution this is up to your personal preference but the lower the resolution is the more fps you'll have now we have resolution scale as well and the lower this is also the more fps you'll have but keep in mind that the picture will get a bit blurry so i'd suggest minimally putting it down to 80 for the best experience Fill the view, you don't have to touch this. Underneath, we'll see mirror reflections. We'll go with the disabled. And after that, we'll apply these settings. And then we're going to advanced graphics settings as well. First of all, we have texture quality. Make sure we put that on medium. Shadow quality, put it all the way to the left. Post processing quality, same stuff. Anti aliasing low. Uh, VFX low. View distance will go with medium as well. Frame limit will be uh, to the highest because that's your monitor's uh, highest capacity. So I have 144 hertz monitor, so it's on 144. It's max. Monitor blur, make sure to disable it fully. Make sure VSync is disabled as well. Flashlight bounce light off. World decals enable. You can keep this on. It won't really matter as much. If we scroll down, we'll see everything here. Disable these on off and off. DLS as well. NVIDIA reflex low latency. We want to enable plus boost. And after that, we're going to click on apply. Keep in mind that NVIDIA reflex low latency is only for uh, NVIDIA graphics card users. So if you're running AMD, you probably won't have it. And that was pretty much it. I hope this guide will help you out. If it didn't, once again, comment down your specs in the comment section below. I'll appreciate it if you do that a lot. At least I gained some experience like that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.